Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to Toops Time. You are watching our daily vlog series called The Daily Grind. And this is episode number 28. It is another busy day for us here on the homestead. As you can see, I'm prepping to go milk autumn. And we have to finish painting those benches uh, fairly early in the day. Jess is going to be heading to the doctor just to do a, another checkup on Callum, see how he's doing. And I'll be watching Asher until she gets back. So let's we'll see how much he lets me get done today. <laughs> working on uh, bringing all those church pew backs in here so that we have some floor I'm gonna be putting them screwing them down like this and then because this stuff's so thin I'm actually gonna run some that way too again not gonna look good but it's gonna serve a purpose rather than just burning them isn't it as ugly as I'll get out but look at that whole area has a floor now to put stuff on yep and it's insulated better our attic is actually in the loft of our house so I made these really cool attic doors so it matches our French style look at that like them I'd say they're really cool if you like French We've actually built our house from the ground up completely ourselves with the help of my father-in-law every now and again when I needed two hands for things like the roof and putting up sheathing on the sidewalls, etc. But we also did all the building of our cabinets from scratch ourselves. Check some of this stuff out. This is where our washer and dryer is right here in our kitchen. You're going to be mad at me because... She had to leave early and it isn't the cleanest thing here right now. Got a dishwasher box over there. Asher's toys are all over the place. <laughs> but just a second ago before I put those uh, pew backs in the attic, those were all leaning up against the wall right there. It's been a really busy week. Yeah, this is where our washer and dryer hides. Peekaboo. This is why we keep all our other stuff for the washer and dryer. Made all this stuff you see here. Every bit of it. Even made our countertops. 
<laughs> Got a few more things to do to Jesse's craft area, but made these really cool doors for a craft area. I'm gonna play with you. Say hello. Hey. <laughs> Made all of our doors, our sliding doors. We really like that old world French look. This is a door that I'm actually selling on Etsy right now. Anyway, yeah, I know Jess is gonna kill me for showing this dirty house, but things just get dirty sometimes in real life. Well, these are still a little too damp to paint. I blew them off with the blower, but good thing is we got a million other things to do. So we're going to head on back to Asher's play area, bring this mower with us, let him jump on the trampoline while I uh, mow his area. It's getting a little growed up, so that's what we're going to do. Well, Nana and Pops came by. Jesse's still gone, but uh, they came by to keep an eye out on Asher so that I can get some work done. So hopefully these pews are dry. I'm going to check on them right now. If they're dry, then I'll go ahead and paint those while they're here to watch him. That paint sprayer makes short work of things like this. We are all done painting, and now we just have to wait for these to dry, and then we'll haul them over to the ceremony site. The plan is you know, if we can't find any more of these for free, like we did with these, the original plan was to find some nice ones like this for the first couple of rows. And then for the rest of them, make like a really simple non-back bench. That way the first couple of rows look a whole lot more special than the rest of them. Cause that's where the close family sits. Um, but for now, we're gonna bring these over to the ceremony site once they dry and swap out the benches that aren't as nice and that have less life on them. Put those on the burning pile and keep the, keep the rest of those benches until we get the time to build more. Still waiting on those benches to fully dry. So we're gonna go ahead and head out to the sheep and start making some more of the interior paddocks over there. Got lots more to make. <laughs> Tell you what. Hammering stakes in this type of ground is demoralizing. <sighs> Not only is it just difficult because it's just nothing but slaty, rocky ground, but you'll get like halfway through hammering a post in and then you'll hit a rock won't go any further you got to pull it up which isn't the easiest thing to do either and move it and hammer again hit a rock pick it up move it hammer again so it shouldn't take all that long it just takes hours insanity but got the stakes in for this paddock about to start putting clips on and run some wire got my clips on so as you've seen in a previous video i'm sure i went with three wires on the exterior main paddock all these interior paddocks the sheep mined one wire they heck 
They definitely mine two wires. No problem, they don't even question it. The third wire was for Pippa, the dog. So, these interior paddocks that separate everything inside the main paddock, I don't care if Pippa jumps it. Honestly, if I'm not out here, I doubt she'll even try to jump it. It's only whenever I'm out here she tries to come to me and jumps pretty much anything I put up. But, yeah, if she needs to jump these interior paddocks to go chase something, so be it. I don't care. I'm not running a third wire just for her, for interior paddocks. It's not necessary. Well, I got the bottom wire ran. Cut them out. <laughs> not totally. Got like six feet left. <laughs> it's not enough to run the entire thing. Technically, that one wire should work. For the sheep, at least. I just, I don't know, I just don't trust it. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, Greg Judy says it works. I'd just rather to. Hmm, just me. Jesse and I are gonna go feed the sheep. <laughs> Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Hey girl! Look how cute! They're adorable. They're so cute. Hey girls! Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Hey, Pippa. Look at them, they know me. They come straight to me. Why don't come straight to me? I'm not that here. Oh, no, no, no. Pippa, No, Pippa, stay down. All right, go to the feeder. All right. Pippa, come down. Calm down. Look at him, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse, watch out, watch out. Hit her. Don't let her jump on you. Hey, sheep, sheep. Jesse, look. Hey, look. You see that? Yeah. No food, and they still let me pet them. Hey, there's Dot. <laughs> <laughs> but they can do it. Hmm. <laughs> this one's peeing. <laughs> I'm telling you, they they've warmed up. I've been working with them. Come <laughs> here, sheep, sheep. Talk to them while you feed them. Hey, girls. Hey, girl. Hey, Pippa. Pippa's a good girl. All these sheep are still alive because of you. You raise cane all night, don't you? All night long. I hear your squeaky little bark you got. <laughs> They're eating out of your hand? Yeah. <laughs> You're so timid. That's a good girl. She said, I'm not timid, I'm scary. And a little jealous. <laughs> I think this one's really pretty with the brown on its face. The little spot. Ah, <laughs> She's gotta be careful with her. Don't let her jump on you. Hit her if you have to. Is that Dot or is that just another one? Hey. Yep, that's Dot. Is it Dot? She's got a spot on her, her right ear. I thought Dot's spot was on her left ear. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was on this ear. 
don't think that's oh. that. Look how pretty that one is. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, there you are. Pippa. Pippa, calm down. You're scaring these sheep. <laughs> this one's like, it's easier to eat out your hand. I don't have to bend over. Mike, grass. Hey, girls. <laughs> I scared them. You scared them? Sorry. Hey, girl. Hey. That's definitely Dot. There you go, Dot. She's just learned. Mm -hmm. Just come eat from the people. That's Dot. Look at her. <laughs> you want some, huh? <laughs> She's putting her butt in your face like, hey, why don't you pet that? That feels good. Yeah. I think we're running a petting zoo around here. Next step, I'm homestead. <laughs> petting zoo. <laughs> step right up. <laughs> I'm gonna send this one to Jason. Oh yeah? Yeah. Does he put his? No. He could if he did this, I'm sure. I'm sure. I just don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> well the cool thing is is like we don't have to think. Like, if it was the weathers and stuff, I'd be a little like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because we'd be slaughtered on and stuff. The love is yeah. reserved for the I girls. Have some babies, huh? Yeah, y'all are like queens. Yeah. <laughs> like our milk cows, huh? Yeah. yeah. We got to love on the girls around here. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. Oh, you going to eat, so gonna eat my shoes, Dot? Dot is like more interesting than the human. Yeah, she's sweet. She's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> she's the one that licked Asher on the head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This one's got a bow on it. Yeah, she's been having that. I like that one with the little brown oh, face. So pretty. Yeah. Look at her. And that one. I think that one's really pretty. Yeah. Sweet. You just like this. So she'll show uh, lick your face. Try to kiss her. Oh, really? Give her a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Azure would. Yeah, funny. Hey. You are cute. You are cute with your long eyelashes. She like it. Got... See, that's what Missy did. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one over here is so pretty and completely uninterested. She's like, I'm good. Like so Chewing pretty. a cud. Okay. I guess they chew cuds like cows. Mm -hmm. This will jump right on in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's eating. She's completely in. Keep it. All right, got my brother-in-law, Jonathan. We're gonna go start moving some of these benches around and pick out the best 14 that we, well, the worst 14 that we have and get rid of them and replace them with these new ones. Looking at here is me putting benches up, and Jesse volunteered 
along with her little brother Jonathan to go get the cows. 15 minutes later they finally decided to follow her. <laughs> Like a mama goose and baby geese following her back to the hen house. <laughs> so they stayed in this paddock right here all day. And then 10 minutes before Jesse went to get them, realized that I left the gate open intentionally so that they can get into this paddock. So 10 minutes before Jesse goes to get them, when they're like, hey, that gate is open. Let's go in this other paddock. I just started laughing. Jesse was getting the water ready. And I pointed out there and said, look what the girls just figured out. <laughs> she was so mad. Hey, where are we going? To the cows. To the cows. What are we going to do with the cows? We're going to give Maple some water and put her up for the night? Yeah, with Uncle Jonathan here. Asher, where are those cows at? Right They're way so what do we got to do? Uh, we got to get them some feed and go try and get them to come to the milk barn. Maybe they'll be lured by Jonathan's presence. <laughs> Hopefully they cooperate tonight. Oh, mom's got it. I gotta move this mule up before CB start running. That's your stay right there. You know where to go. You gotta go by. Oh, yeah, they're running. Yeah, I know. And then you <laughs> control them. <laughs> Asher, did we put up maple? <laughs> what happened to your clothes? Did you get wet? Man, whose fault was that? <laughs> well, we got all, we got maple up, got the girls a treat, and then we're headed back to get ready to bring John them back to Nana and Pops. 